Hello Coco Daisy fans. Um, this is Robin and I'm here to show you something a little bit different today. Um, you have to excuse me for a second because I'm kind of new to this whole setup and I'm going to be showing you a real quick video here of how I put this uh, spread together for the second half of January. So to save time, I've pre-stamped some of the things that I'm going to be using on my spread today. And um, I used this winter stamp from the planner kit, from the Snow Globe planner kit, actually. So um, I've been wanting to use this, and now I've had an opportunity with the crazy weather. So here, you know, I've already started some things to save time. And these are the photos that I'm using. Um, I also have done my journaling and already did the some of the um, gluing on it. Um, this photo I've already decided and I put this uh, chipboard on here and so for this photo I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Do I want to do something like this? Do I want to leave it here? Or do I want to use something else like this? Remember the mo this moment chipboard? Which I kind of like too if I put it right here. Seems like a good thing and would kind of balance out so I think I am gonna go with that so I did go with this chipboard here but I really do like this oh my god chill um, so I might be actually gluing this to the photo here we'll see next I wanted to do this uh, journaling here so I've kind of thought about where I want to put my journaling on this card. And by the way, this is a 4x6 card from the paper and ink kits that I've already attached my photo to. And so this is the journaling that I did. And I really want to use this black um, tag here to say that it was too cold. And I really love these. Page, uh, these are book plates I think I'm sorry and I really love these book plates because you can do so much with them than different than a normal tab um, so anyway I really like this and so I think I do want to make it a little closer in here and so I really like that to use the dog hair constantly playing with that dog hair around here. These two things I've already done, so I've already attached my this um, moment to the sunset photo. And here is actually some hidden journaling about uh, my sewing machine that my husband got me for Christmas and how much I like it. So I was trying it and some of the things I'm gonna use it for. I really want to use it for sewing on my paper, but I've got to practice that. And then over here, you know, I kind of like this to highlight the word, this frame to highlight the word stories. So I'm thinking about that um, too to kind of balance the the dark, but I'm definitely going to be using this. I, again, pre-stamped in white ink for my journaling. And I love this card, and so I hate to cover it up, but at the same time, it's so perfect for my journaling and, and all the little pieces that I love from the kit sort of stick out anyway around the edges, which I really like. And so because this is on the side where this slips into the actual back of the pocket, um, I wanted to do something uh, like this so that it didn't really stick out too badly. And so I think that's what I'm gonna go with and I'm just gonna stick a little adhesive on here. Stick this on right about there or there, I'm not sure. So maybe over here. Yeah. I think maybe on this side it's going to go better. And so, <coughs> again, I really want that to show. And so there we go. So I like that. Kind of balances things out a, a lot around the hair. Um, 
and to create that visual triangle I really should put this one behind this card here this photo I'm sorry here um, which will show up, up a little bit over this card um, and that would actually create a nice visual with the black um, as well as having this uh, texture stand out over here um, and this would not detract if you like to do things in odd numbers it might but I, I still like that I think that looks really good so I'm gonna put this on here so what I'm gonna do is just stick a little line I think of glue with this blue pen instead. So I'm going to do this little line. And then carefully, carefully stick this over here. So Now that glue dries clear, so it's gonna look pretty good uh, when I'm done as long as it's straight. That's the most important thing, keeping it straight. Oop. No worries. The thing I like about this glue is I can get out my uh, undo and fix that very simply. So I'm not too afraid of glue anymore. I used to be, but not any longer. Again, I think that that's going to look really good. I like it. So I'm going to let set that aside for a minute and show you real quick. So undo is your friend, and you need to have it around, especially when you're like me. You see? All gone. Didn't take much at all. Pretty simple. And you can do it also on your photo if need be. And it will take off any excess that you have there as well. I just really love this stuff. It's the greatest. Okay. So, as you can see, I really have completed my second half of January layout. And I do have a lot of journaling in here. Um, and hidden journaling as well and I just really like the way it came out the 6x12 really works for me and only doing uh, two layouts a month also really works for me uh, so I I just have been really enjoying project life again uh, when I switched to this format 6x8 was almost a little too small for me because I had more stories than that to tell and then I'd end up having three albums but this way I keep it down pretty much to two albums and I'm very happy with that. So thank you for joining me and have a great Sunday afternoon.